So today we're going to go over techniques on how to contour and highlight your face as well as how to apply blush. So let's get started. So the color that I like to use to do my contouring is Harmony from MAC. So it's this color right over here. It's about a beigey sort of, it's got a tiny bit of pink in it but not a whole heck of a lot. Um, and it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. You can use a bronzer if you like. Um, matte bronze is not a bad color as well. Um, or if you're a little bit darker than me, Blunt Blush from MAC is really good as well. So I'm going to take the 168 brush. I'm going to load up my uh, brush with the blush. Sounds kind of funny. Um, and then we're going to go over here. So when you think of contouring, we're going to try to create a triangular shape right over here. I'm just going to start below this thing on your ear, which I don't really know what it's called, but um, it's going to start below that and it's going to go up to here and kind of follow your cheekbones. So you can see your cheekbones if you just suck it in like that line. So we're going to kind of work it down. Just get the hair off your face. You're going to stop about right where your eye is. So you want to be a little bit light-handed with this. You don't want to create too much of a contour because otherwise it looks pretty artificial. And do the same thing to the other side. I like to contour under my uh, chin as well. Just follow the lines. This kind of makes your chin jaw area look a lot slimmer. Now depending on the shape of your nose, you can always slim it out as well. Mine's a little bit wider at the bottom, so I like to take a little bit of that Harmony and just kind of shade it down. And this will make your nose look a little bit slimmer. But you got to be really light-handed with this because otherwise people can see streaks on your nose and that's not flattering at all. So when it comes to picking out your blush color, you kind of want to go with um, the same sort of color family as what you're going to put on your lips. It doesn't really matter so much what's on your eyes, it's more that the lip and the cheek color got to go together. So today I'm kind of wearing more of a peachy tone on my lips. Um, I'm going to go with Melba, which is one of my absolute favorite blushes ever. So you want to load up your brush and then just tap out the excess on your hand. Oh, um, this is Melba by the way. And you're gonna smile, and where you see your uh, the apple of your cheek, kind of kind of lay it down there, and take it out to meet the bronzer. Now the last step is to highlight. So personally, when it comes to highlighting, I like to use eyeshadows. I find that there's so much more of a range of colors that you can use, and they're not all packed with shimmer, which I'm not a big fan of shimmery highlight, unless you're 14 years old. Um, I like to use rice paper from MAC, uh, which is that color right there. Uh, it's sort of like a light goldy color. It's great on um, Indian skin tones. Um, I'm about an NC42 in terms of MAC colors, so Around there, it's uh, it's perfect. If you're about an NC35 to about an NC45, I would say if you go a little bit darker than that, you want to use something like Arena. If you're lighter, I like to use um, Vanilla a lot. So I'm going to take uh, the 225 brush, load it up, and I'm going to just go under the eyes first, kind of carry it out here, just above where we had placed our blush. And if you notice the difference between the two sides, you can see that it's a little bit more lifted. Highlight makes all the difference in the world. It's one of my favorite things to do. You can do a little bit down the nose as well. At the top of the cupid's bow. That just helps to define the pout on your lips. And those are my techniques for contouring and highlighting. Thanks so much for watching. I'm done!